This video demonstrates how to use the Xilinx Blade example files to generate the S19 flash image that will be used to program the PK70 platform and the FPGA blade board. The environment that we'll be using is Windows 7 Professional 64-bit and the tools used is NNDK 2.6.4 and the Xilinx IAC Webpack Tools 14.7. So, we are going to access the example directory, PK70, Xilinx Blade directory, and use the user constraints file and the Verilog file to create our bit file using the Xilinx IAC Webpack tools. So, we're going to open, open the Xilinx IAC Webpack tools, uh, Xilinx design tools. IAC Design Suite 14.7 IAC Design Tools and it doesn't matter which project navigator you open but in this uh, for this demonstration we'll be using the 32-bit project navigator skip the tip of the day open a new project and we will call this arbitrarily Xilinx blade demo and I will change the path to the same directory where our existing example is located well okay pk70 and I'll just put in the pk70 directory and click next and make sure that everything will, will, will be a default the only thing you'll need to make sure that gets changed is that the family says Spartan SE, um, Spartan 3E, the device is XC3S500E, and the package is PQ208. Once you have all that, click Next. And it will show your project summary, and you just click Finish. So now that we have a project, what we need to do is copy the user constraints file and very long file into the new IC project that we just created. And paste it here. And now we will link those files to this project. open and then simply press OK so now we have our project status and the files are added to the um, project so make sure that the, this file is highlighted and then click on the green arrow next to the no process running label and let it run Alright, so that is finally complete. Next step is to select the generate programming file, right click, then select run. Alright, now that's completed, we expect that we expect to now have our generated bit file which is generated and it appears right here. So now we're going to take and copy that bit file and, pl and place that into the Xilinx Blade examples example with the rest of the example files. So now we are going to create um, a project based on this example with the MB Eclipse tools. So click on Start menu, all programs, 
Nepper NDK and MB clips. Um, it doesn't matter where your workspace is, but in for our demonstration, we will use what what we already have. So now we're going to create a new project. And make sure NetBurner project selected. Then I'm going to just call it the same name as the example project, which is Silinx Blade. And everything should be at default, so select next. And our target platform will be the PK70. I am not going to um, enter an IP address uh, since this, uh, the purpose of this demonstration is just to show how to generate the, the, file, the, the files necessary to download to the platform. And then click Finish. So now we now have an empty project uh, with the basic include files and what we need to do is import the, the, um, the, the source files we need for this project. So you're going to right click on Xilinx Blade, import, and file system under general. Click next. And now we're going to browse and navigate to that example directory. In the Ember root directory, examples, PK70 platform, down to Xilinx Blade. Now remember that the Xilinx Blade demo was the project that we created using the IEC Webpack tools. So we want the original examples directory. And click OK. So you'll, see, so you'll see this is what we have listed. All we'll need is the loadcode.cpp, main.cpp, and the bit file that we copied over from the IC um, project. Just those three files. You won't, you won't need the make file, which is generally used for command lines. Um, we already used the UCF and V files for the IC web project. And this working image is just a pre-compiled Xilinx, um, uh, Xilinx.cpp file, which we will be compiling for ourselves. <coughs> Click Finish. Alright, just in case you get this kind of problem that says, Error, Program, PromGen is not found in Path. PromGen is an EXE file that's found in the I, I, um, Xilinx IAC Webpack tools. Since that um, path and environment path was not set, we are going to add that path into our project. So right click on the Xilinx Blade project, select properties down at the bottom, and then click on the arrow next to C, C++ build, then select environment. Now we want to add the, IAC, the Xilinx um, 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 environment path to the variable path. So we're, what we're going to do is open Windows Explorer and find that path where PromGen is located. So that would be in Xilinx root directory 14.7 or whichever version you're using. IAC DS then IAC and it will be located in the bin directory here. Now it won't matter whether you use NT or NT.64, but since we are using 32-bit just the sake of simplicity, we'll just use NT. And you'll see that the promgen.exe file is located right here. So we're going to copy this pathway. Alright, and we are going to edit the path variable. And make sure the, uh, cur the cursor is at the beginning, or it doesn't really matter where it is. And paste that pathway, and add a semicolon to separate it from the rest of the other pathways. And click OK. 
Once that's done, click OK. And now we have a sex successfully compiled application, which includes the um, the Designing Blade app S19 Flash image file that you would download to your PC Sandy platform, and the generated Designing Image .cpp file using the bit file. And that is how you um, create the uh, create your project, compile your project.